always got his memories of sitting in my living room when, was it Rio Ferdinand scored a goal and it was 1-0 and it was like a really late goal. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and United went to the corner, and Rio Ferdinand was just celebrating. Oh, what, what is happening, everybody? I trust you're well. There is Mr. Lawrence McKenna with a super great jacket on. By I'm, the way. I am Nick in I am joined by Adam McCullough to evaluate what has just happened at Stanford Breeze. Chelsea have lost 3 0. Uh, I'm very worried. 3 1. Three you did one. score in the end, Sorry, forgive me. Callum Hudson and Doyle nicked a goal for Chelsea. Um, it feels very worrying. I think that Frank Lampard's job is in serious jeopardy. Adam, help me break this down. What happened from a non, from a more neutral perspective? I'm gonna than I can offer? try and not be a Manchester United fan in this video because I know you're hurting. No, no, I, I know I, you're hurting at the moment, and it's how I would feel if Ali was on the brink or anything like that. And I know, having been sat here after we got dick six one, and you were laughing at me, it's how it feels. So I've had my fun on the show. Um, I do think Lampard's in danger. I think the one thing that might save him is. That last season, he did get you top four when, when he shouldn't have. And I think when you've got that kind of credit in the bank, you should be given a little bit more time. I also feel, I know we alluded to Tuchel and all these guys being available. They'll be available in two months. I don't see Tuchel jumping straight into a job. I don't see anybody else. And I think because Chelsea fans like yourself are so in love with this dream, I do think Chelsea's board may give it a little bit extra time just to... You know, because I don't think if any manager comes in, they're going to want to make signings in this transfer window, or they're going to be allowed to make signings. So, what you've got nothing to gain by pulling the trigger yet? No, the the, the only reason that the club would do it, I am one hundred percent unequivocally behind Frank Lampard. Yeah, I do not want him sacked. But I think the reason that the club may want to do it sooner rather than later is because they will be hoping to you know get as high up the league as possible, qualify for the Champions League, and if they decide that this current setup doesn't get Chelsea into the Champions League, they'll want to make the move as soon as possible to give the next person who comes in mm. more of an opportunity. And I do, this season's a weird one where you could still lose two, three games and then win five, ten in the right spin and you'll yeah. be top four again. So it's weird to, do you not think Frank can turn it around? I do. I, I, I truly believe that Lampard's the right man for the job. I think he's an, I think he's proven already that he's an excellent manager. Getting Chelsea into the Champions League last year and to an FA Cup final so proved that he's an excellent manager. Because I don't think he's all that, but I don't think he should be sacked yet either because it was a month ago, Ali should have been gone and Lampard was gonna, yeah. gonna take his luck to a title challenge. And at that point in time, I was saying that then, relax a little bit, yeah, Lampard's still new in the job, this Chelsea team. So I don't think now, just because he's had a bad run of form, you can then turn around and say, he has to be sacked. The trouble is, is that Chelsea? You spent 200 million and yeah. you are now one of those teams. And the club, that could the club are so trigger happy, aren't they? Mm. What, what about from a City perspective? Where did it go wrong for Chelsea today? Was City that much better than us? Were they brilliant or were Chelsea just that bad? City were better than I have seen them play this season in terms of the way they played. But I do feel in the second half, when Chelsea were there to be got at and score more goals, they didn't really show that ruthlessness that you come to expect of Chelsea. Now, obviously, they were playing without a natural striker, no uh, Jesus, no Aguero. I think that will be a big problem for, for them throughout the course of the season. But I felt like this City team, if they were playing at their best, they get three, four, five goals. Yeah. Well, sorry, they got three. They do, get do you four, think they're five. in the title? Like, I, oh, I have already anointed you as title They're Liverpool's tenders. closest challengers. City uh, ahead of you? Yes. I'm surprised you that you say that. Bro, two months ago, we weren't title challengers. City were. City have spent so much money over the years. They've got Pep Guardiola. The pressure, I don't want the pressure to be on us. You know what I mean? If you asked me at the start of the season, I would have said Liverpool or City for the title. If actually a month ago, when we were talking about Chelsea and, and Spurs, I said, nah, City or Liverpool, yeah. did I not? Yeah, yeah, you did. Like, yeah. I've always believed they would come back into it. Now, I do think whoever finished above Liverpool wins the league, and I think we've got a chance. But you think City are also in that conversation? You have to put City in there. And if they win their game, I think they've got one more game in hand now. If they win their game in hand, they're one point behind us. And they did it very well today as well, considering they had a lot of players out. A keeper, new keeper in, uh, in goal. Didn't even trouble him. Didn't, didn't, didn't trouble, trouble him didn't trouble him. No. What, they just, what do you say when you, even you play a game and you play... That keeper looks a bit shaky. We tested him a couple of times. I've never seen that. And you've got players like Mason Mount who can pick a corner out. Yeah. I'm, we, we didn't offer anything. There was nothing going forward. The team lacked any sort of cohesion. 
any any sort of energy. There was just nothing to offer. So many players had such a bad game. Have they so many stopped playing for Lampard, do you think? Are they tired? Because this time of year, it could be fatigue and no pre-season. It could be Lampard's tactically poor. It could be they're not playing for Lampard. It could be City were just so good. There's so many different things that could be... Do you know what I mean? There's I, so many layers here that you've got to think... The trouble is, no though, it's happening. And fixed a pile up is a mad one. You know, if you know, if this was the only result that had happened, like if everything was going fairly well for Chelsea, and then this exact game happened, you kind of put it down to an anomaly or the fact that Lampard got it wrong on this occasion. But this is cumulative, man. This seems to be happening every week. You know, it was only feels like it was only about three days ago that it was John McGinn running us ragged. Prior to that, it was How Arsenal. It was Bakayo Saka. Because you're fearful. I'm fearful, but see, I think the responsibility, and, and you and I had this debate on the kickoff, and it, it was a debate that turned into half an argument, because you were constantly saying it was Lampard, and I was constantly saying it was the individual, the truth somewhere individual in the responsibility, absolutely. The nuance which lacks in most football fans, particularly in the moment, is somewhere in the middle. Lampard needs to, Lampard needs to get these players playing for him and for the club, because ultimately they aren't, and he does have a responsibility to do that. How he does that, though, I have no idea. Do you because... feel because he was so good as a footballer, though, he doesn't have the personality to deal with these players? I don't think he's a particularly... I don't think he's a particularly forgiving man. Loz, come this way round. Do you mind if I just quickly ask you a question on here? Ask me a question. Loz. I'm going to invoice you for this. Yeah, yeah. Loz, tell me. Your, your thoughts, Chelsea, Ash Lampard. Has Lampard, has Lampard got it wrong? <laughs> is, is he, do you think that the club should persevere with him? Uh, I personally think the club should persevere, but I would also go for Max Allegri if I got the opportunity, if I'm quite honest. I just think he suits Chelsea. You're an institution club. You've not had an institutional manager in quite some time. You need someone else to put you back on it. And I work, it's not that I don't think Lampard could be a good manager. It's like we said at the end of the show, I think he might be a couple of steps from that right now. It's like if you said to me right now, should we get Gerard at Liverpool? I'd be like, fuck no. I want to see this guy go through a couple more teams. Although like, he was amazing again. I've won the league already. I've won the league in January. And I get that. But, the same, but, to, but to counter that, we know that at some point in our lives, Gerard should be Liverpool manager. Mm. I'm not saying, you know, we, we understand yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes legends can die early. But you still, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. There's I some do. point in my life where I think, our, you know, we'll know Steven Gerrard should be Liverpool manager. It mm. doesn't feel like that just yet. Yeah. And I do worry that they rushed him a little bit. Is Lampard the right man for now? Do you think, do you think he turns it around for Chelsea? I think he, I, I, like I said, he's only uh, three points off the top four. I think a lot of the time it can be quite reactionary. But the worry for me is if he's lost the dressing room, mm. which players is it that he's lost? Yeah. All of them, by the way, performance of defeat, today. The well, Hudson Doyle came on, didn't he? And Hudson Doyle looked great. He's always looked good. I think he'll start the next game, not the Morecambe game. But Hudson Doyle will start the next league game. I wonder whether Timo Werner actually enjoys being a player under Frank Lampard. I mean, no, is the answer to that yeah. from what we've seen Surely so far. I think Kai Havertz is your key to unlocking things. Jeez, I don't know. I really don't. Thanks, Lars. Pokeball, go! <laughs> um, I, I think. I think Lampard turns it around, but in the short term. I don't right. think in the long term. So yeah. I think he'll get, maybe get through this season, maybe he'll have a run again and you'll be like, oh, Chelsea for top four potentially, and he might finish in the top four. I think even if he gets through this season, I can't see him lasting, you know, two, three yeah. seasons, because I don't think he's ultimately the man to bring you to Although if he manages so to steer the ship, so if Chelsea end up from this position, qualifying for the top four or, or winning a trophy, Suddenly, his place looks so secure, doesn't it? Mm. Because and, you've kind of ridden look, the wave, the way that can, Solskjaer has. You can do well and not win trophies and set them up for the next team. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm. And I think, obviously, at the moment, you, everyone's talking about United in a, in a potential title challenge. But let's say Oli got sacked a month ago when everyone was talking about it. He still improved Manchester United up until that point. Yeah. He still took us forward. He's just not the man to take us further forward. Come on, guys. Cheer up. Have a yeah, celebration. You know, you know what, that'll oh. do it. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to have a Twitch. I'm going to have a Twitch oh, and I'm going to bid you good night. I'll see you That is the best. Soon. Don't believe the Twitter trashing. No, I don't go, think it's Twitter that's what, what trashing the boundaries. It is. And do, you know, do you know what's also a good bet in that box? I'd go Galaxy. Maltese. Right, we're out in a bit. The dime